it felt more professional. It felt like we were being entrusted with something that was bigger than us. This is a story about what happens when we give our students the skills, the tools, and the opportunity to create real things in a real world. This is a story that starts with a grant, the Pay It Forward Student Philanthropy Grant funded by CNCS and the Learn and Serve America Higher Ed Organization. OSU Marion was awarded the grant in order to let students in several English classes throughout the year decide how to divvy it up among eligible area nonprofits. You don't want to produce something that's like so poor because people are actually going to see what you're producing. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be more willing to put in the work and and learn more learn different aspects that you're not accustomed to learning because of the fact that your name is on it and people are going to see it. This is a story of two classes in two locations. My digital media composing course on the Marion campus partnered with my friend Amy Tibble's second year writing course at our Delaware Center some 20 miles away. We were their technology consultant team during their philanthropic project. While they gathered proposals and deliberated on funding, we produced deliverables using their assets. Because of this geographical separation, we were faced with many logistical challenges that we attempted to solve using tools such as Skype, Dropbox, and our university CMS to communicate and trade files. At, at first, I, I thought it would be... Um, I, I, I thought it would be pretty straightforward, just another job, something he had to do. Um, I got the feeling later on that it, w it was uh, more significant to actually care about. I mean, I care about all my work, but uh, you, you definitely have a sense of, um, I have to make this exceptional when, uh, when you're working for clients such as a nonprofit because when when you do work for a nonprofit, it is. Uh, I mean, you're not just putting your own name on the line. You're putting their name on the line. This is also a story of three nonprofit organizations, groups that serve the hungry, the chronically ill, and the disadvantaged citizens of our community. Flying Horse Farms, the Dublin Food Pantry, and Habitat for Humanity of Delaware County. They make it their business to serve others in need, and so we in turn work to serve them. By not only providing financial support, but also volunteer labor, promotion, and increased attention to their missions. I think it was a huge effect um, on the work, having to work for an actual client. It made it feel like it was something completely different. It made it feel like it wasn't just a silly college project. It felt like we were actually doing something like business, like a business type of work. And um, it was fun being able to conceptualize and see something that might possibly end up being used somewhere. This is a story about the fruits of our labor, the things we made in conjunction with this grand partnership, things that helped generate a civic-minded ethos in our classroom. These products included a poster, flyer, and digital ad campaign for Flying Horse Farms, specifically targeted at OSU Marion students to encourage volunteers to step forward.
This also included a poster and digital commercial campaign for Habitat for Humanity to help promote their Brush With Kindness home renovation program. team created a promotional video for the Dublin Food Pantry to be shown at community meetings and fundraisers in order to help explain their mission to the public. Finally, this is a story of the green shoots emerging after the project, the consequences, both intended and unintended, of encouraging the formation of digital citizens. Several students from my class and campus at large have been persuaded to volunteer at all three of these organizations, as well as others. A film production club even grew out of my class, and they're already working on projects with both campus and community partners. This is a story about what happens when we give our students the skills, the tools, and the opportunity to create real things in a real world. They thrive.